Welcome to this Windows channel and this is Patch Tuesday for Tuesday, September 8th, 2015. Yes, we are at Patch Tuesday today. Um, for those that thought it was gone, it's not gone technically. It's just different. Uh, in Windows 10, we don't really wait for Patch Tuesday technically. Although I've noticed that they do a lot of updates on Patch Tuesday together with older operating systems. If you have Windows Vista, Windows 7, and Windows 8.1, you've got some updates to do. Lots of flaws and lots of problems in security in Windows. So update your computers. I've updated my machine with the cumulative updates for Windows 10. Took about three or four minutes, required a restart. Everything went well, flawlessly, no problem. And uh, just a reminder to let you know that cumulative updates are always all the updates available. So it means that if you reinstall Windows 10, for example, you will have the cumulative updates of all the updates from the beginning of Windows 10 until now. So it will be a big, big file. But it, this is cool because as a tech guy, you know that you don't want to install 200 updates. You want to install one big update that does it all. And this, I think, is a cool thing. Very nice this time. This cumulative update is detailed for the first time. And I hope Microsoft understands that it has to be like this all the time. We now know what this contains. And it's really cool. There's all these little securely bulletins that you see here. And I'll post a link to this page in my description of the video. Because if you want to actually yourself go and view what these updates bring, you'll be able to do so. So thank you, Microsoft. This is a great, great idea. I hope you do it all the time, not just because it's Patch Tuesday for all the operating systems. So one of the patches is Microsoft Security Bulletin. Uh, it says cumulative security update for Internet Explorer. So this is uh, flaws for Internet Explorer all the way back to Internet Explorer 7. So it affects Vista, Explorer 8 on Vista, Windows 8. Explorer 9, Explorer 10, and Internet Explorer 11. So pretty much all operating systems are affected. Vista 7 and 8.1. So it's very important to actually install these. Means that there are flaws in Internet Explorer that can actually uh, make it that you will have your computer act in some way. And, you know, people will bad guys out there will be able to take control of your computer because of this or send malware. Other cumulative update is for Microsoft Edge. Now, this is the first one we see for Edge, but I would suspect that there were some in the past. So Microsoft Edge as a flaw, of course, this affects only Windows 10, 32 64 bits version. So there's a flaw in Edge if you're a Microsoft Edge user. You understand that you have to update your computer is very important. This, once again, is another flaw that, um, you know, they can actually infect your computer or take control of your computer somehow by using the flaw in Microsoft Edge. There's uh, vulnerabilities in Microsoft Graphics Component could allow remote code execution. This is another uh, flaw. And you can see here it affects pretty much uh, all versions of Windows, Windows Vista Service Pack 2, Windows Server 2008, um, Windows 7, of course, Windows 8 and 8.1, and also Windows 10. So it's very important to actually do this update. Once again, in Windows 10, we have one big update that includes all of this. Another one here is a flaw in Windows Journal that could allow a remote code execution. Another flaw that's very important to fix to make sure that, you know, no bad guys, no viruses can infect your machine through this flaw. Uh, and remember, updates block 90% of malware and viruses because they have to infect using a flaw in your operating system. We have a .NET framework flaw here that could allow elevation of privileges. Elevation of privileges simply means that if you're not an administrator, if you have your computer, have user accounts, that are only users, not administrators. This flaw can actually change that and have something execute 
as an administrator inside Windows, meaning that it will have the privilege to infect and do whatever it wants with your computer. So that's very important to do so. Once again, this flaw goes back to Vista up to Windows 10, so it's important to do so. Then we have a flaw in Windows Task Management could, could allow elevation of privileges. Same type of flaw. Uh, it could, you know, render any guest or user into an administrative account to do whatever it wants. So it's very important. These are very important security flaws to fix. And finally, Windows Hyper-V could allow security feature bypass, meaning that if this gets um, you know, used as a flaw, it can bypass you know, passwords, it can bypass all sorts of security things that you do on your computer to try to keep it safe. So um, you know what, this bulletin is great, gives us a lot of details of what's actually being fixed, and I really think Microsoft needs to continue this. Thank you, Microsoft, for being uh, nice about it, and I think they understand we want to know what's in these updates. So community of update and patch Tuesday for everybody. Update your machines is very important. Once again, don't believe anyone that says updates are there to infect your computer or take control or steal your data. That is always false information. This is important. It makes your computer secure and you know that you can go on the web safely and have no fear about you know being infected or hacked in some way in your operating system. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything you want to know about Windows 10, maybe you have suggestions. I got a lot of people giving me suggestions. Look, I'm taking note, I'm making a list, and I'm slowly going through it. I promise your videos will be there soon. If you like our videos, give us thumbs up. It really helps us in the ratings on YouTube to have thumbs up, so very, very, very important to do so if you can. And hopefully, you'll come back to our channel. Thank you for watching.